I absolutely find nothing wrong with a little bondage between two males. Bondage? Bonding. Bonding. How long have y'all known each other? I've known Kyle for 17 years. 17 years. Met him in fourth grade. I stole his Pokemon card from him. About 10 seconds. Five to ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Community college, we had a, a class together. We've been friends for about a year, yeah. When we moved to LA, we had to share a bed, so we slept next to each other. There wasn't really cuddle. It was more like a... Yeah, was there was this. this. What do you think appropriate touches between two straight males? Hey, what's up? Yep, handshake. <laughs> See? This. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I feel pretty nervous. Yeah, I feel a little nervous too. Why do you think society doesn't approve of straight men being close? It's that like John Wayne, Ronald Reagan man persona. You're gay or you're straight, they don't think of it as like a, a spectrum. It's kind of weird. You have two swords. I don't know, it's just weird. So you feel uncomfortable being close to men? But it is weird. I'm not affectionate with other men. I have gay relatives and gay friends, so I've gotten pretty comfortable. I feel like we're brought up to feel that it's weird. Yeah, men are supposed to grow up to be sort of like, you know, the protector. I feel like love is love no matter what gender. Alright, um, uh, embrace me? Yeah. <laughs> cool, okay, I guess let's get to it. How you wanna do this? I don't know my ass. Like, <laughs> I've never come before. You wanna be the big spoon or the little spoon? <laughs> Uh, hold, uh, right. just, just are you the big? Are you big spooning me right now? <laughs> I'm like way bigger than you though, so like, should I be big spoon or like you trying to be little spoon, bro? You're getting in the back. I don't uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, man. So just like that? Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna embrace you. We'll go this way, and then you go that way. I guess. Okay. I mean, you're much taller than me. Want me to be in the back and you be in the front? Well, this is more comfortable for me. Okay, I'll do this. Okay. Okay. It's like. Get him over here! No, I, I got it. I got it. Ready? Okay. This yeah. is it. Lay down. Yep. Oh, look at that. Wanna switch? Yeah, we could like, you know, switch things up. Yeah, dude. Uh, let, let me try it. Okay, let me let demonstrate it, it to you. Here. Why don't you go back here? <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, you got a nice, you got a nice chest. You look like you've done that before so many <laughs> damn times, dude. Here, let's uh... Oh, I'm from Chicago. Oh, cool, no way. Just moved out here. Okay. Oh, yeah. I could put like a little snack on your chest and just... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You can do this. Ooh, I'm sweaty. Yeah. That was, uh... Hot. Hot. As in, very warm. <laughs> that was... I don't know why I'm on breath. Oh, it's a unique bonding experience. Can you actually hand me my shoes? Oh. Society is afraid of non-masculine activity between guys. It's just like, oh, so you're cuddling, so you're gay. No, I'm cuddling because I like, I, I wanted to get comfortable. Simpler terms, it's homophobia. I'm not attracted to him, he's not attracted to me, so it's just... So we know, so yeah. we've tried it. I really do think things are improving in the way that society functions. I think that people are a lot more open-minded. The comment section of this video calls you guys gay or fags, what would your response be? Oh, don't say that word, it's like not a good word. Because you're just uncomfortable with yourself. Yeah. I can be comfortable with my best friend. Yeah, honestly. And I obviously don't care what you think. But I'm not gay. Find something better to do with your life than look up a video about guys cuddling. Cuddle with your best friend, maybe. You try it. Yeah. I won't judge you. Have you tried it? You're a pretty good cuddler. Thanks.